So there is a lot of power pilferage, power robbery going, especially in the coastal belt. Any steps government will take to, to plug that pilferage? See, I'll tell you, see, I'm not a magician. Our department is a vast department. There are over more than 7,000 employees. Now to control 7,000 employees, over 7,000 employees is not easy. It will take me some time, but my intention, see GTDC also when I took, nobody wanted GTC, I'm on record. Today everybody is vying for GTC. This is because I have taken GTC to a different level. The power department has come one month back to me. I thought that it would be like easier to focus and give a white paper. But somehow it is taking me time. I have already asked and through all medium I am asking again that I will require more time for giving the white power paper of the power department to tell what, what, what can I do over a period of time and what so because what is happening there are so many things as you are rightly saying there is power till phrase 18 percent uh, loss is there to the department a lot of things are there so it is not going to happen overnight first focus is to see that uh, people get 24 hours electricity second focus is there Pilferage is meters which are not functioning, uh, door lock meters. I am telling people, uh, people of Goa through you, door lock is not an excuse for me. I have told my engineers and I am now new chief electrical engineer just joined. So I will start working on that. I am telling people that they should keep the meter prominent. After three months, the, the law says that you have to disconnect, you can't see in three months. So every time they do what they say, the meter reader says the door is locked. So I will request the people of Goa to put their meters in a place where it is visible to the people who come. If not, they, will, they can be helped by the people, our department people will help them to shift it to the place where they are like. Meter closed, door locked, all these things we have to slowly tackle. Overnight is not going to happen. Giving powers to this coastal belt or any other belt, industrial belt and the people of Goa is going to take me time. Infrastructure changing inside the existing area will not improve the power scenario. I can put 100 transformers here, but if there's no power coming to the transformers, where is it going to happen? So, infrastructure has to start from the source of power. Power availability is there. There is no such thing that power availability is not there. We have to buy power at whatever 6 rupees, 7 rupees, as whatever rates are there, and then work out some mechanism where common people are not suffering. People who are low income group are not suffering. And maybe who can afford? See, for me, a normal house, if I am a, a normal house of four people or five people or six people, if you are a normal person, you should not, bill should not come more than 1,500 rupees maximum, or 1,300 rupees or 800 rupees or 600 rupees. So for that, you require around 300 units to 250 units. This is what I am saying, common people. So keeping those common people in mind, we will focus on that policy. As a part of the government, I will focus that these people should not be troubled. People are having ACs and double ACs and big, big fridges, those come in a premium segment. They can afford, so they will have to pay for electricity. So all that we are working on, and I assure you that in, you, in what a period of time we will see uh, changes. Pilferage will be stopped, a lot of things. I will request people of Goa, I, my email is there, is everybody knows my mobile number, I think most of the people know. I have requested the people of Goa that if the street lights are not working, I have told them to write their name. <coughs> Uh, write their address where they are not working and their phone number and SMS me. Because now my call center is not functioning properly. I am also aware. Why should I say you call on a call center? It is not functioning properly. 1912 is not functioning properly. The way it should function professionally. So I am making a, a change in that also. Where Till that such time I will request people of work to send me, instead of calling me, send me an SMS. I will. Uh, uh, do the required changes. If people of Goa find that the pilferage is done, I will tell people to uh, SMS me instead of calling me because sometimes I don't take the call. So SMS I always see, not WhatsApp, SMS. My mobile number is 9822103292. SMS me your problem. I'm not saying that I'm going to give you a solution immediately, but we'll work out a solution. I'll, I'll find out solution to your problem and we'll say. But overall industry is facing a lot of problem. Whether this is a hotel line, whether it is the industrial state, that will take some time because today we are focusing power on giving to the common people, their houses, domestic houses and all. And we are also focusing on how to give them better power in the industry and hotel. So, we totally so it will take some time. We buy power from centers. We don't, from buy, we don't, we have, don't, we don't, don't have, have our any. own manufacturing. We is the government is trying to look at that possibility? Because Goa is very small. We don't have land. And if I start thermal station and any other station, coal, coal based station, we will have pollution problem. NGOs will stop. We are looking at solar. Solar, my policy is going to come out in rooftop solar policy where people of Goa will benefit. We are going to give them 50% uh, installation on subsidy. Okay. If they, it 
it costs 100 rupees. After a period of one year or six months, after the system starts operating, 50 paisa, 50 percent will give them back. The 50 rupees will bring them back. We'll issuer at 24 hour, 25 years. We'll sign an MOU with them. Five years with issuer rate of uh, this. We'll have empaneled contractors in uh, department in GAD, where they will they will, they will be able to help them in monitoring the systems. So a lot of things are coming. Give me some time. I assure you. Sir,